So now let's take a look at how to create a culture in which reasonable expectations are understood and people can live by them. This, uh, this is particularly important in the light of the fact that if you are deemed to have created an unreasonable environment, um, then um, legal consequences and costs can follow. So um, where to start? And a good place, in my opinion, would be to copy somebody who has done it before. And in my personal experience, working with Hewlett Packard in the, uh, the 1990s was a good example of an organization that had really thought deeply about its culture and what it, it means to, to treat people reasonably and, uh, and lived it. They, um, the, the HP way, as it was called, was visible to all employees and um, everybody lived by it. And the tenets of the HP way are belief in people, freedom. Number two, respect and dignity, individual self-esteem. Number three, recognition, sense of achievement, participation. Number four, security, permanence, development of people. Number five, insurance, personal worry protection. Number six, share benefits and responsibility, help each other. Number seven, management by objectives decentralization, informality, first name, open communication, a chance to learn by making mistakes, training and education, counseling, performance and enthusiasm. So if you're um, aiming to create a culture that you can point to as being thought through and with the intention of treating everybody reasonably, that's probably a good start. Over time, I would add to this that not only is this useful for, for all employees, but now that we know that about 7% of employees um, have been given the label of being neurodiverse in some way or another, it, it just makes pure economic sense. To, to make these rules or the, the, this culture commonplace. I would, however, add that one of the things that is noticed about people who get the neurodiversity label is a tendency to prefer very, very straightforward, unambiguous communication and communication that can be represented with um, icons and emojis for, for some people. Think of, think of um, traffic signs, for example complicated ideas that are conveyed in very simple graphic format um, so that they can be taken in at high speed and prevent danger. So that's that's the kind of model and and maybe you could think about representing the the HP way or, or your cultural norms in in that way with little graphics. I think no more than nine is adequate. Between three and nine is the is the best. We know the science tells us that now. So uh, a simple explanation of how an organisation is going to treat all people and how they might uh, raise grievances or concerns. The HP way was also um, characterized by something called MBWA, Management by Walking About. And this is an opportunity as, as managers to go around and ask people questions, you know, on, on a scale of one to 10, how reasonable do you think this is as an organization to work for? Um, give us practical examples of reasonableness and unreasonableness. Talk to us about your experience. What might change to improve your sense that you're working for for fair people. Uh, and another one would be to talk about uh, what's it like, you know, if you were to, to compare or to try and come up with a metaphor or a symbol for what reasonableness is, uh, talk to us about it. 
and over time that tends to build up into a shared model of what what being reasonable is all about for, for your organization. Another component of this process is to make it very easy for people to talk about neurodiversity and that involves awareness sessions for managers and making it clear how employees might gain access to the kind of coaching and support that might need. Maybe even a, a video like this to um, start talking about how they can perform at their perform at their best. Now you'll notice that through all of this there's there's no mention of these terms dyslexia or ADHD so on and so on and so forth. It's more about you as an individual telling us what you need from us and um, what you can do to change to operate at your most effective so that we can work to play to your strengths get the best out of you and not put you in a position where you feel that you're uh, being unfairly treated or discriminated against so there we are that's a macro level version of how you might do things to be able to convince the world that your culture is fair and reasonable and people can thrive within it.